welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel so as you can tell from the title today i'm just doing a little ill milky eyes review i did get a request for me to try the new ill milky eyes foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and try that today so i do have two shades here i do have the shade of 130 and then i have another shade of 155 um, it doesn't show me or tell me what the colors are. I guess it just goes by numbers or maybe I can Google them or see what they are, but it looks like 130 would be the lightest. So that's what 130 looks like here. And then 155, that's what this one looks like here. Um, so I'll go ahead and try these and see. Okay, so this one is 130. I'm just gonna put it on my watch it on my face and see here okay so 130 looks like it's gonna fit pretty good it looks like it blends in really good the color match and then let me see what 155 would be okay so definitely 130. Um, 155 looks like it could be like my summer color, but yeah, 130 is definitely what we're gonna go with today. So I just went ahead and wiped that off. I did go ahead and prime my skin and prep it and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead in with the foundation. And basically I'm just using two pumps. Um, it looks like it's maybe gonna be like medium coverage. So we'll see. I'm just gonna go with that for now. So I do think the color match is pretty good, especially for my winter shade. I do think it's really good. And I was actually going to use a sponge, but I changed my mind and decided to use a brush instead. But I'm gonna go ahead and build this up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna put one more pump on my face because it looks like it could be like medium to buildable coverage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one more pump on here. So I must say, I do like the coverage. It looks like it can be, again, buildable to full coverage. It is very nice. Color matches on point. And yeah, it's, it's very nice. I like this color. I haven't worn it for a while. I don't think I've worn this since probably like summertime. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. I'm gonna have to start reusing this foundation. So I do recommend this. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my you know, bronzer, blush, highlight, concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and do that on camera. And that way we can see what the complete finish is, the final finish.
And while we're testing things out, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the um, beer cause we'll use that again today, being that I went ahead and put on a corrector. And again, I am using the color tan for Fiera Cosmetics. All right, and then we'll go ahead and set the under eyes like normal. I'm just going back in with my LA Girl Island Hottie blush palette. And I'm taking my Huda Beauty palette. I'm gonna go with the lighter color today. We'll go ahead and line the waterline and do the lower lash mascara. Head and do the lower lash line with mascara. And we'll go ahead and set the face with the powder and then spray the face. All right, guys, so this completes the look of the Il Marquillage foundation. Um, I do recommend it. Um, the good thing is with this, with this foundation, you can try it before you buy it. So I definitely recommend the foundation. It's a very good color match. I know they have the quizzes online and it matches you to a T. So yes, I do recommend it. It is, to me, it's medium to buildable and then buildable to full. Um, it has very good coverage. And it's not too, to me, it wasn't too expensive when I purchased it. I think I purchased it maybe around a year ago, somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, very good color, very good color match, very good product. There's a lot of product in here. Um, so definitely try it out. Uh, this completes the video. I will have more content loading. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.